Few days ago, I showed to you how we can create custom folders in GNOME, but on that video, two things happened. First, the developer of Iconic left a comment saying he's gonna work on folder custom colorizing so we won't need to do that on our own with Inkscape or whatever. But he also pointed me out that everything is D&D compatible, that I completely missed it. So I really, really want to show that to you. The other thing is a comment from a doomed KDE user saying that Dolphin has an embedded system for allowing people to customize their folder graphics. Um, does it? Let's find out. First of here is Plasma on Arch Linux, but I don't have any idea on what version is it, and I don't even care really, but it's running on VirtualBox, so it goes slow. Actually, is very surprising, I don't have a KDE casual installation anymore, but I decided to spend my non-gnome time on Cosmic instead. Anywho, if we want to change the visuals of this folder, we right-click and we open the properties, and so far, perhaps everything looks the same as GNOME, but in KDE, it will open an icon library that is supposedly... Hmm? Helping us? Basically, the only real benefit I can give on KDE is that their designers provide additional folder colors out of box, so if we want to make that folder black, we can just look for it. And I still don't get what's GNOME problem not doing. The same at least for the official at Weta Palette. Meanwhile, KDE misses a reset icon option, so if we want to set it back, um, first of all, we don't even know what's the default to do that, or if we had changed it at first place. But hey, it's KDE, Chief. Welcome to the uncertainty of universe and beyond. To be fair? Next in GNOME, I'm going to use third-party apps for creating and setting custom folders, but that doesn't excuse this awfully implemented feature in Dolphin. If you're lazy to do it right, why you guys are even bothered trying. So what I'm gonna do here is to change this icon, but this time I will do with drag and drop, which is unbelievable awesome! Okay, ready? Drag this there and set it as your bottom icon. And next, we're gonna drag something on the top of it. Um, the Flat Hub logo. That doesn't look like the PS buttons. Nope, not at all. Whatever. We can zoom it a bit and change its position. Put it here, maybe? I think I made it worse, huh? So now we can go to Folder Properties and directly push it from Iconic App to the Files Preview slot. For some reason, the first D&D always fails. But eventually, come on. How cool that is. Obviously, you can drag images from anywhere. But one more thing you can easily do is to create that boring watermark Gnome uses on some folders, like pictures or music. So first I'll reset this. And then I can drop a penguin here from Gnome's icon library, put it on top, toggle the monochrome on, and pretty much we're done. Point is that for KDE to really claim they support custom folders, they basically should deliver a system similar to this, perhaps? And to deal with the Gnomers, too, before they tell me, who cares about such things me? Quite honestly, to my workflow, custom folders are way more important to me than app icons. To put it on some perspective, is that helping usability somehow? And now multiply that to 100, which is how more often I deal with my folders than my apps icons.